Here I'm going to show you how to use data validation in order to limit the range of dates that a person can enter into a cell in Excel. So the other day I was working on a form for a client and they wanted um, their employees to be able to enter a date from today into the future. So it had to do something with vacation time, which obviously means if you're going to say I want to go on vacation this week, well it's not going to be in the past because it already happened. So let's just create a really quick thing here, date. And what we want to do is in this cell, let's say you can enter any date from today on. So I'm going to select that, go to the data tab, data validation, or simply alt D L on the keyboard. Now what we want to do is to go to allow, make sure you've selected date, and in the data section, we've got all these different options, between, not between, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So if we want you to only be able to enter a date in the future, you could do greater than. If you want them to be able to enter today's date and any date in the future, greater than or equal to. So let's go to that, and here, that was uh, what we're going to enter. You see start date and you may think let's enter a date here. But you can actually enter a formula or a function. And what we want to enter is the today function. So equals today open and closing parentheses. And what that does if you input it into a cell directly is it just spits out today's date. So then we hit OK. Now let's go ahead and try and enter some dates up here. Let's say 12, 15, 2012. No problem. Put a date in the future, 12, 18, 2012. No problem. Now let's go ahead and put a day in the past. So 14. And it doesn't let you do it. So retry, and we could put anything that we wanted in the past for past date, and it won't let you input that. Now let's say that we're doing vacation time, so you want to say a start date and an end date. For the end date, we obviously want that to be greater than the start date. So what we can do here is select the cell, go to data validation, this time I will use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-D-L. Settings tab, allow, we go to date. For data we want greater than. Then for the start date, let's select the cell for start date. Hit OK. Now, if we type in 12, 19, 2012, we are good. But if we change it to 18, nope. If we change it to 17, nope. So now this cell is reliant upon this cell. We can change this to whatever we want, as long as it matches the data validation rule that we said it has to be today or in the future. So let's put it at 20. So notice that this doesn't prevent the user from changing that cell after they change this cell. But for the most part, it's going to do a pretty good job for data validation. If we do select the cell and hit enter now, though, it says that we have to redo it. And one last thing I'm going to show you how to do here is to create a drop down menu. That includes today's date and future dates, and you want this to update for every single day. So I'm just going to make a really quick rough table over here. Let's say equals today for today's date. Then simply equals that cell with today's date plus one. And let's drag this down. So there, 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 let's say that many. 
Now what we can do is to give this list a name. Let's just something very simple. Date list. And for data validation over here, select the cell. Data tab, data validation. Let's go to list this time. In cell drop down checked. Source date list. So we type the name that we input over here in the name box after we selected that range. So date list. Okay. Now we've got a drop down or we will have a drop down once we do the equals sign. Equals date list. Don't forget that. Now we've got a drop down of the dates. Notice, however, that when I select them, it spits out this funky number. That funky number is simply the serial number of the date. So that's how Excel reads a date. So let's go to the Home tab, give it a nice date format. And there you go. Now each time you open up the spreadsheet, if it's a different day, it's going to update here with the today formula and all these will update accordingly therefore updating the drop down menu so that's another way that you can um, limit the dates that a user can enter into a cell so to recap what I did here it's some basic data validation and pretty much just the today function so we select a cell go to data validation Alt DL or data tab data validation allow date choose how you want it to work with a date greater than or equal to greater than less than etc and the formula equals today open and closing parentheses and remember here if you just want it to be a date in the future you choose greater than if you want it to include today's date and every date in the future greater than or equal to and vice versa for the other way around, less than or equal to, less than, etc. For the end date, all we did was to make sure that it was going to be greater than the start date. So in this little area down here where it says start date, you simply select the cell that contains the date up here. Then make sure you put greater than right here and change the options as you need obviously this was just a very simple list equals today function or formula then we add one to each cell that's going to increment the date by one day we highlighted this typed in a name in the name box date list then went to data validation here alt dl allow list source equals date list in cell drop down. So that's just a recap of it, but it's, you know, pretty easy depending on your skill level. And this will help you in creating forms in Excel and other methods of input. So that's pretty much all there is to um, limiting dates and how you can enter them in Excel.